scale Mount Everest in late August, which beats January, let me just say. <laughs> if money and time, time off are not issues, are you in or out? Why or why not? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot say that this was the actual vacation that I had, but that would be great. It's a real challenge. I've thought about it a lot of times. How would not are real, please? But what do, what do I feel about going up Mount Everest? Because on the one hand, hey, it is the singular highest point on the planet. Woo, major bragging rights. On the other hand, you've got all of the infrastructure that it takes to have one first world flabby son of a gun <laughs> to get up to 28,000, however many, 14 feet. And that's a lot of infrastructure and it's a lot of risk for the indigenous culture uh, who serve as the Sherpas to carry oxygen, carry your gear, because let me tell you, when I have half of the oxygen that I have and I feel as resplendent and luxurious at sea level, I am not a happy camper. At about 12,500 feet, the acute mountain syndrome cut kicks in, I've got the faint headache, not quite feeling so good, and everything above it, you know, up above, what is it, 16,000 feet is the death, death zone. There's a lot of reasons to consider the impact that you can have, and then, if you have an emergency, a medical emergency in your party, well, heck, now other people are putting themselves at risk to help out, and they will help out. So, hmm, the glory versus the negative impacts. It's a heavy contemplation. Probably I would not. However, it's also a consideration that Everest is not the coolest climb ever. It's just kind of kind of lame, as I understand it. K two, on the other hand, that's an entirely different story, and that's another table topic. So. <laughs>